Hey all you lovely people, welcome to my channel or if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Lei and I want to wish everyone a Merry Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So since today is Christmas, I thought it would be a fun idea to take a look at all of the holiday Bratz dolls that have been released throughout the years. So go ahead and grab your milk, grab your cookies, let's hop in this sleigh and take a journey through time to visit all of the Bratz holiday dolls. Let's go. All right, and first on the list, we have Winter Ball Beauty Chloe, who debuted in 2004. Now I have to say, out of all the dolls on this list, she definitely has to be my favorite. There's something about that 2004 charm where Bratz is like at their all time high and it was just so amazing. And I love her big poofy red dress. I think she looks beautiful. I actually love even more that it's a two piece and not like a full dress. <laughs> Hi Barbie. But um, I think she looks so gorgeous. I love the sparkle on the dress. I love the color of the dress. I love that it's like a, a deep red, like a wine red, you know what I mean? And you know, Chloe can't go wrong with, you know, a red lip. Love her in a red lip. And then she also comes with some little, some little packages and a little bear and a cute little brass ornament, like super, super cute. Now, the only grievance that I do have with this doll is that it's not Sasha. And let me explain why. So earlier in 2004, you know, we had a couple other releases as well as in 2003, you know, uh, Yasmin, she has the New Year's doll, the limited edition one. And then Jade has the uh, Spring Fling doll that's like limited edition. And then Chloe also has the Independence uh, doll, aka, you know, 4th of July doll. And Sasha is the only one to not get a special edition doll for the holidays. So that's like the main issue that I have. And if y'all know, you know, and if you don't, do some research. But um, that's the only thing that I wish this could have been Sasha's moment. But Chloe still looks really, really beautiful. And I'm hoping to get her one day. And then they released her wearing a purple outfit. Now I have to say, purple is my favorite color and I think this outfit is really, really beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I love that it's different. However, I am more of a traditional type of gal when it comes to the holiday season, particularly Christmas. I love my greens and my reds and my golds and my silvers. For me, that's what I love the most. But I still really like this purple attire that she's got on. I love that the presents inside of the box are purple and the little bear even has like a purple like bow tie. I love that the ornament has purple on it. I think she looks good in it. I gotta say though, I really wish her lip color would have been different. Maybe like a pink or a magenta, just, I don't know, something different. But I still think she looks really, really beautiful. In 2005, we got the holiday dog, Katya. Um, this would be the beginning for the holiday line that releases usually about every year. Um, they don't do anything considered Winter Ball Beauty, even though I love that title for Chloe. Um, but everything here on out will be holiday. Um, and I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of Katya's dress. Um, I don't like the design of it. I'm not a fan of the gray parts of the dress. Um, well, I do love the color of the dress. I just, I'm not a fan of it. I do love her shoes and it has like the ribbons tied around her ankles. I think that's really, really glam and beautiful. But I'm just not a fan of this dress. I do love her face. It is really pretty. I love her like deep red wine lip. And I think it's cute that she comes with a little ornament, like a mini me version of her. But this doll is just, it's just not for me, y'all. <clears throat> so in 2006 we got our second edition holiday doll trinity yeah um i'm gonna be real not a fan of this doll at all um i gotta say though i do love her outfit i love that it's pink it is different hey barbie um i love that it's big and it's flowy love it love the artwork she's slaying but the doll itself i'm just not a fan of that screening it's giving wow wow west i just don't like that direct stare into my soul look on the branch dolls um also it's another blonde doll i wish they would have chosen anyone else like you know sasha hello still needs her time to shine 
you know, Nevra or even Phoebe because Phoebe looks really good in pink. Um, I would prefer that. I would love to know the reasoning behind like having a new character be a holiday doll because I don't know if Trinity has any other dolls. But yeah, this doll just doesn't work for me. Yeah. All right, y'all, it's 2007 and we have holiday third edition featuring Yasmin and Chloe. Now, even though these aren't my favorites, I love their outfits. I think they're so adorable. I love the Santa theme going on here. The boots are amazing. I literally like bought the Yasmin doll just so I can give this outfit to my mini-me because it's just too cute. Um, the one thing I don't like about these dolls is that they come with crowns. While I love a good crown for a doll, I wish they would have had Santa hats or just, you know, something else. I guess they're like Christmas princesses, if you will. I don't know. Um, the screens on both dolls are also really nice. They're fine. I think they're nice. Um, but yeah, these are kind of just like basic holly dolls. Nothing too extravagant, but the outfits are amazing. Alright, y'all. It's 2008 and we have 4th edition in the house. Now, this one consists of Yasmin, Chloe, and Megan. And I gotta say, I really enjoy these outfits. I think they're really cute. They kind of branched out a bit for the holiday dolls and I love that Yasmin is an angel I think she looks beautiful I love the wings um I do wish she would have come with a halo I can't tell if she does in the packaging uh if she does y'all let me know but I think a halo would have really like made this outfit like you know be pulled together though I do wish that Chloe would have been the angel because hello she is angel but I think this is a really really cute outfit despite their hair quality probably being trash because you know it's 2008 and MJ had that legal battle with Mattel, yada, yada, yada. But these dolls, I think, are really, really cute. And I love Chloe's outfit. See, this is what's giving me more Santa. This is an elevated look from the previous year. She has her cute Santa hat, and it has the white trimming on it. She's wearing black boots. I, I think she looks so beautiful. I love this doll. And then we have Megan as, I think she's like a little elf. Which I think that's also really, really cute. Though I wish they would have given her like pointy ears and whatnot. Although she's wearing green and she has a bit of trim on her outfit too. So I personally think these dolls were, you know, some of the best from the previous years in my opinion. I just think they're really cute and like well themed to Christmas. In 2009, they released the basic Yasmin and Chloe holiday dolls. Um, these are basically repackaging of the third edition that was released in 2007. Um, it's just these dolls, they come with a lot less, so the packaging is very minimalistic. Um, there's no accessories, no anything. Um, they don't have their crowns in this lineup. The dolls still look really, really good. I still love the outfits that they come in. Um, they're just a lot cheaper, but these, these are fine. And here we have 5th edition holiday that released in 2011. This time it featured Yasmin, Chloe, and Jade which is nice to have at least three out of the four core girls in the lineup. Um, these dolls are really basic. Um, I'm not too big of a fan, you know. I know they tried. They were trying to make a comeback from, you know, after that battle with MGA. I gotta say, Chloe is my least favorite out of the group. Um, I just don't like that blue on her. I, I don't like the leggings. I'm just not a fan of this doll. I really do think that Jade is the standout. I love that she has her cute little red beret. And I love that her top looks like, you know, candy canes. It's so cute that she comes with a little stocking and her little green skirt. I do wish her socks were striped like her shirt, but, you know, it's all good. These dolls are fine for what they are, but, you know, they did the best they could, I think, in 2011. <laughs> I demand an explanation for this one. Now, I know y'all have seen these dolls before. But did you know that Sasha was supposed to be a part of the lineup? Yeah, y'all. This is Holiday 6th Edition 2012. That consisted of Yasmin, Chloe, and Jade. Unfortunately, Miss Bunny Boo was not released. So this picture here is basically a tease. Now, I got to say the outfits, they're okay. Um, they're not terrible. But I think it's like an outfit. It's a look for like a cute little holiday party with your friends or whatever. Um, you know, Chloe is giving Santa Claus 
Yasmin is wearing purple. You know, Chloe tried purple back in 04. Jade's wearing the green. And then Sasha is wearing the blue. I'm not a huge fan of that shade of blue. I kind of wish it would have been white or silver. Um, and I'm just not a fan of Yasmin's leg warmers, whatever those are. I'm just not a fan. I think Chloe and Jade are the best out of this this uh, pack. But um, it is really a shame that we did not get Sasha in this lineup. Um, so far, she has not been a part of any holiday lineup. So it is truly, truly sad. And I really hope that one day she does get a holiday doll because she deserves it. You know, also in 2012, they released something called Holiday Glow, which featured Yasmin, Chloe, and Jade. And fun fact here, um, Yasmin is actually wearing the dress that Sasha was wearing in the previous photo. Um, just minus the sleeves on the arms. Um, and these dolls were supposed to glow with their crowns and their skirts. Kind of like the uh, Repro Funkin' Glow that came out around this time. Each doll came with an ornament. I mean, it's a cute little gimmick. It's fine for what it is. But it's still really sad that Sasha could not have been a part of this lineup. Because it is cute. It's very holiday-esque, you know. But... Mm. Okay, now these dolls technically aren't considered holiday, but I wanted to still add them on the list because of a couple reasons. So these dolls came out in 2013. They're called Special Edition that featured once again Yasmin and Chloe. And as you guys can see here, um, the dress that Yasmin is wearing is actually like the same design as Katya the year that she wore um, her dress in 2005, except that this dress is a brighter red. It's not as deep red. And then Chloe is actually wearing a red version of Trinity's outfit that came out in 2006. So I thought it was kind of like a cool idea to take designs that already existed and kind of just recolor them. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't think these dolls are bad. Um, they're fine for what they are. Again, I don't know if they're technically considered Holly dolls. But I just wanted to add them on the list just so y'all could, you know, see what they look like. I gotta say, I love Chloe's outfit. I love, like I said, I love red and I love gold. And that gold trim on that dress, I think it's beautiful. Last but certainly not least, we have Holiday 7th Edition featuring Felicia, the glam gecko herself. Now, when this doll was being released, we were all going crazy. We were all super excited. I'm like, finally, like a black doll for the holiday season. You know, I, I gotta say, like, it's just nice to have her. Um, I also love that it's for the 20th anniversary. You know, we have the 20th logo there. And then she came with this amazing Bratz Colt Gaia bracelet, which I wear like every time I go out. I think it's so beautiful. But she came with the stand, the traditional hairbrush. Um, the only thing about this doll is that she is wearing the same outfit as Trinity did in 2006, except this dress is yellow. Now, I think she looks really good in yellow. Um, I would have liked to see a different color, um, but again, I think it's still a really beautiful dress. I love that train. I love her little, uh, what is it, a boa, her little wrap that's furry around her, her shoulders. I think that's really beautiful. I don't think Trinity had that, so I'm glad that they added it for her because it gives it a more elevated look. Um, I do wish that her jewelry and her heels would have been gold. Um, I don't like yellow and silver. I prefer like yellow and gold because they're so close together. Um, and then she comes with a doll stand. And again, love that bracelet. So I am happy that we did finally get a black doll for the holiday season. Now her makeup is not awful. I'm just not a fan of that bright pink lip. I wish it would have been like a different color lip. I know a couple folks on Instagram and Facebook have repainted her lips. And they look really, really good. But um, again, I am very grateful to have her. I bought like three of her when she came out. I'm like, look, I've, I've got to have her. This is a milestone for us. And I hope that Bratz continues to, you know, give us more Holly dolls. But just, you know, keep the diversity going. Because there's so many other dolls that, you know, would be so awesome as Holly dolls. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I'm wishing each and every one of you Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And I hope to see you soon.